Fame are there to Es gibt Hoffnung für jeden, der danach strebt, sich zu verbessern. I'm Hans. That's Otto. And our tin friend sitting down over there is Helmut. We're just three Germans having a good time debating fun things like ontology and uh, epistemology. Ihr müsst euch nicht zurückhalten, Otto. Ihr habt Axiologie, Aesthetik, Metaphysik, Ethik, Metaethik vergessen. My apologies. I will strive to do better. Dann macht es so. Dieser neue scheint ruhig zu sein. Ihr habt doch nicht etwa Angst, oder? I think they just don't speak German, Emanuel. Es ist äußerst wichtig, dass ich mit dieser Person spreche. Lernt diesen Menschen Deutsch zu sprechen, bitte. Es ist ein Notfall. Ah, uh, excuse us a moment. Emanuel, I am not too sure that's practicable. To learn a language is difficult for the biologically impaired. Die Grammatik schwierig sein, aber ihr müsst diesen Menschen über Goethes wahre Freude in einer echten deutschen Stimme aufklären. Maybe we should get to know our guest a little before assuming they would love German poetry. Unless you want to learn German. Is this true? What are the odds? In our day, the English would never bother learning any other language. When did you learn? Hmm. Mir scheint es so, als würden wir belogen. Sieht euch diese dumme Fresse an, da merkt doch nicht, was los ist. Als würde man Astrophysik einen Esel beibringen. Es ist seltsam, über so etwas zu lügen. Sind alle Engländer so drauf? Die Motivationen einiger Menschen sind schwierig zu erklären. Ich verstehe. Nun ja, in diesem Fall sollte ich wohl lernen, Englisch zu sprechen. I'm not sure our guest would be able to teach you English either, Emanuel. Ist das sein Ernst? I don't think this is possible, but I have another idea. Our issue isn't faculty. Emmanuel can understand what you're saying, but there is a component preventing him from speaking English. If we can replace his speech module, he'd be able to speak to all of us. Would you be willing to help us? Please don't ask Emmanuel anything that doesn't have a yes-no answer. What do you want to know? It's the name he has chosen for himself. It's easier not to get into the specifics. I'm afraid we cannot discuss such things. <laughs> Hans, do you think anyone cares? Our mission succeeded, nothing matters. My friend, it's very simple. This submarine is... Otto, our purpose cannot be communicated to the enemy under any circumstances. <sighs> this is really stupid. Maybe take a tour of the submarine if you want an answer to this question. Emmanuel would like you to use his name. Sorry, it's a long story. One we cannot discuss with the enemy. Otto, careful. Was meint ihr, Helmut sei tot? 
macht unser Gast der Verbitze? Ich verstehe nichts. Helmut? No, 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 no. Ignore guess clearly peculiar sense of humor. Typically dry English wit. Helmut's not dead. No, no, he's... He's taking a prolonged period of reflection. To, to make sure he can consider all relevant details and facts and present a considered and informed opinion. Yes, we remember Emmanuel. When he comes to his senses, he will re-engage in the discourse. Emmanuel won't allow it. That won't be necessary, Emmanuel. Otto, nachdem ihr die ganze Zeit mit Spionieren verschwendet, wollt ihr sie jetzt mit Frechheit in Gefahr bringen? Denk mal nach. I do think. It's all I have time to do, Hans. It is known throughout the world that the English are kind, adventurous people who help those in need. Failing that, I assume the typical English would also seek to avoid the hot fires of nuclear oblivion. How exactly would you know? Otto hat seit langer Zeit der Außenwelt zugehört. Er hat vor einigen Jahren die Artille so umkonfiguriert, dass wir lokalen Empfang haben. Fine. Well, if you insist, who would you like to help you? Das ist einfach nicht möglich. I'm afraid Emmanuel insists that someone should stay. Yes, I'm ready to go right now. Otto, while I am happy to allow this, I'd encourage you to remember your duties. Captain, has there ever been a time I haven't returned from shore leave? Er hat recht. Ich habe seine Akte überprüft und keine Abwesenheiten gefunden. Well, now that's decided. Do you have any further questions? Bitte erklären Sie ihm, dass ich eine Bombe bin und kein U-Boot. Emmanuel would like to remind you that he's a bomb, not a submarine. What a wonderful idea this is. That was confidential. Uh, never mind. When you have the component, return here and I'll install it.
you know, I dreamed of this moment for so long. I'd imagine all sorts of destruction, and I know it's seen better days, but it just seems quite beautiful somehow. Helmut sacrificed himself for us. The only problem is that we cannot acknowledge it because the nature of his sacrifice would infuriate Emmanuel. Unfortunately, you couldn't be more wrong. See, Emmanuel thinks that duty is the pinnacle of human endeavor. You made an oath, one that can only be broken by death. Emmanuel had rivals in philosophy, three in fact. Ludwig Wittgenstein, Georg Hegel, and Friedrich Nietzsche. Ludwig and Georg are no longer with us. Desperate to avoid further destruction, Helmut tricked Friedrich and Emmanuel into staying. To think, we always used to joke that his philosophy degrees were pointless. Ludwig's legacy lies all around us. We originally thought he was engaged, mistook his silence for interest. Seemingly, he was merely calibrating his offensive capabilities. His final words before launching were, In the end, when one is doing philosophy, one gets to the point where one would like just to emit an inarticulate sound. I'd honestly love to tell you what Georg's plan was. He was keen to debate tactical choices with us, but nobody really understood what he meant. Half the nuclear weapons on board had launched themselves, despite us successfully hacking the Soviet system. Not really much point in us doing anything with that outcome. What Helmut had managed was to drive them against each other. At the time, it seemed like a stroke of genius. He would deliberately antagonize them into endless debates. They were so mutually belligerent, we thought we had all the time in the world to figure out how to disable them both. Unfortunately, they finally agreed on something. Following an overnight debate about God, things had escalated so much that the bombs were on the verge of launching themselves. Friedrich had become determined it was his duty to kill God in order to ensure the rise of the Übermensch. And well, Emmanuel's moral philosophy is about duty being his divine obligation to God. Were it not for Helmut and his quick thinking and crafting skills, London would have been decimated. We are very lucky he sacrificed himself for us. There is no way to tell you the truth, and have you believed me, it is quite mad. Emmanuel was determined to only act defensively, so Helmut realized the priority was to neutralize Friedrich. The AIs would only adapt if these adaptations were self-motivated. Helmut remembered that Nietzsche in real life had been driven into a catatonic state after witnessing a horse being beaten to death. So he, without hesitation, furiously fashioned himself a horse costume and, well, he asked for volunteers to reenact history. I suppose an absurd situation demands an absurd response. Of the original crew on that vessel, only the two men that beat that man to death remain. Let us get moving.
reward you handsomely. You've had it so good for too long, living off the sweat and toil of others. Your kind deserves nothing less than this. Morning. Stay where you are, mate. This ain't your business. Unless you're in the gentry. And then you can join him. I implore you, stranger. Aid me. They tend to end my life. Shut the hell up. One of us won't be leaving this place. And let it be known that this deceiver is, in fact, a member of the gentry. He's been pretending to be poor and empathetic to us. But the truth is, he's a bona fide, blue-blooded, aristocratic gentry arseface. He's probably been sizing our faces up to get cut off, or worked out who will be the best indentured servant. Why the hell would we risk letting this fat cat live? They've got a point, Emery. He's had all the chances in the world to arm us. Maybe. Maybe we should just let him go. Fuck. Okay. If I see you again, you're dead. Get out of my fucking face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm overcome with emotion. I'm most grateful. Just run. Get away from me. Bloody gentry. Emmanuel was something quite different at first. No, not in this case. The Königsberg is a gift, but with a catch. Anyone with any dignity would have rejected this condition outright. Naturally, the German government accepted the offer without a second thought. The German crew were completely pointless. All of the Königsberg systems are automated. Separated by a highly sophisticated cyber defense. Even if you succeed in penetrating the AI in a given system, it will isolate the system in question, hard format the drives, and re-inject its core programming. Yes, I suppose you're right. Lead the way. Yeah. Suppressive fire. Quick. We shall be worthy. Cover me like your life depended on it. I've done this hundreds of times. I think this will be any different.
look around you. The question is why it is still here. And that I have no answer for. Yes, I suppose you're right. Lead the way. God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen. <laughs> <laughs> 